So as internship season approaches, I want to make a short video talking about five impactful data science projects that can help you land an internship. Now, some of these projects might just be a little bit more complicated than others. However, if you get through all of them, I can almost guarantee that your chances of landing an internship is going to increase dramatically. Also, for those of you who are looking for an internship this summer, the startup I work for has opened a data analyst intern position for this summer, so feel free to apply if you're interested. All right, so the first project I want to talk about is a beginner level project about data exploration. It's a capstone project from the Google Data Analytics Professional Certification. Google did a very good job teaching the basics of data within this course, and it also has two capstone projects. So if you'd like to check it out, I'll leave a couple links down below. I personally think any beginner should give this project a shot. You'll come out of it with a good enough understanding of the data workflow, which will allow you to dive into more complex problems such as machine learning. Again, for those of you who are interested in taking the certification, I personally made a review talking about my experience taking it, how it helped me land a job. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. The next project I would do after a data exploration project is a regression related project. For those of you who are unaware, there are multiple forms of regression. Honestly, regression problems are one of the most common problems you'll face as a data scientist, so it's crucial for you to have a deep understanding of regression and especially how to explain your results. Again, most of us might already have some experience with regression, especially some high-level regression problems such as straight line problems that we solved in high school. However, like I said before, this is just the foundation and things can get a lot deeper. So yeah, I highly recommend starting off with a linear regression problem such as the used car prices data set from Kaggle and then building your way up to a more complex uh, form of regression such as MLR or logistic regressions this will allow you to get your foundations done and then build up from there all right this next one is one of my favorite projects as a data scientist a big part of your role will probably involve some sort of forecasting therefore being familiar and comfortable with time series forecasting is essential for anyone who's interested in excelling as a data scientist there are so many components to time series forecasting that you will have to learn in the data preparation phase, you will need to organize and group your data in such a way to fit your business needs. You know, you might have to convert long data to wide data and you might also have to aggregate several columns. You also need to have a deep understanding of your data, you know, figure out what seasonal components you want to use. If you want to do historical forecasting only, or maybe include multiple features in your forecast to make it more accurate. There are so many time series models or frameworks you can choose from. I personally recommend trying Facebook Profits time series forecasting. I think it's very beginner friendly, fairly easy to learn, and also very customizable. There are also many other good options such as the Hot Winters model, Serima, DeepAR, etc. So feel free to play around, figure out which model fits your data the best, and decide from there. I personally put off learning time series forecasting for the first few years I was in college, and trust me, you don't want to make that same mistake. All right, this next project that I want to introduce to you is a very important project to me personally. It was my churn prediction capstone project that I did for my most recent internship. For those of you who have never heard of the word churn before, think of it as loss. It can mean loss of revenue, loss of a customer, loss of a reoccurring subscription, or loss of business in general. Because of the broad definition of churn, each company might define it slightly differently, so that might be one of the challenges you face during this project. You will also have to structure and organize the data for modeling later on. Obviously, a key component to this project is understanding the reasons behind churn, so action can be taken later on. A good data set that I recommend for those of you who want to get your hands dirty on a churn project is the Telco Customer Churn data set on Kaggle. Now, this next project is probably the most complex project on this entire list. It's a project designed to help you understand the differences between correlation and causation. Most of us might already be familiar with the concept of correlation. However, it might come to a surprise that correlation does not always mean causation. There are many instances where correlation does not necessarily imply causation, such as a presence of a confounding variable or the multicollinearity effect. This is why it is important to be able to differentiate between these two concepts to help with data-driven decisions. Causal inference modeling is usually done on top of some other analysis, so that's why for this specific project, I recommend using the housing prices data set from Kaggle. This business problem can be solved with some basic regression equations, so feel free to build upon that project uh, with some causal inference modeling to understand the reason behind housing prices. Looking back now, if I did some of these projects before I started my internship search, I'd probably be more valuable in the eyes of an employer, and I'd definitely have a better skill set. That being said, for those of you who are looking for an internship right now, I hope this video helped, and I want to wish you all the best in your internship search. I've also made several other internship and interview guide videos, so for those of you who are interested, I'll leave some links down below for you guys to check them out. That's about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video and made it this far, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.